bringing the people behind our food to life. I, I made a film called The Future of Food that came out, um, actually came out in 2004. And when I made that film, when I started making it, no one was really talking about the food system. They were talking about, you know, the perfect peach and, you know, let's eat the lovely, you know, wild salmon, you know, all of which I love. But, but you know, I wanted people to start thinking about the food system. And so I made that film and it turned out to have a lot to do with genetic engineering because that's what people needed to find out about. I didn't even know about it and I'm like a food fanatic, health food fanatic. So, so I made that and it was very well received and I went around the world with it. And then I thought I wanted to go more deeply into that whole field. And then I started, I decided I'd make a film on soil and announced it. It is extremely rare to have a planet where there is soil. As this living crust that is smeared over the surface of our planet. Most of the planet is not living. It's mineral, it's never known life. It's just this rock. And yet, soil starts forming on it and creates this crust, this very thin layer where life is possible. I realized it would be more interesting to make a film about soil than just about agriculture, and that agriculture was, was a realm within this vast realm of soil. It's Times Square on New Year's Eve all the time in the soil. When you take that soil and you put it in a microscope and you start looking at it, it's a place full of life. It turns out that soil scientists have this differentiation between soil and dirt. And they call dirt the four-letter D word. And, and so soil is is alive, you know, and it's an organism, and there's all this stuff going on in it, and because of it, and to create it, you know, so it's just this whole exciting realm. Dirt, in their mind, is dead. That's soil that has no life in it. It's just lying there, it can blow away. Uh, none of the functions that happen in soil happen in dirt. So they differentiate between that, which is really interesting because like lay people or even farmers say, you know, my, my farm has good dirt, you know, so they use it colloquially, but, but soil scientists don't do that. You know, they really don't like that because it's the difference between life and death in their minds. And so I've kind of taken that uh, to my, uh, to, as my own way of seeing it. To make the film, I thought it would, I kind of assumed it would be a lot about agriculture. But then as I started doing the research phase, which I love, you know, I love the research phase because you can be all alone and with all the books and anything is possible. <laughs> I have these big dreams about how easy it's going to be. And, and so as I started learning about soil, I realized that, you know, it, it's not just about agriculture and that our, our human um, attitude towards soil really shouldn't be, you know, what can we get out of it? What's in it for us? You know, let's you know, let's use it. You know, and that turns into let's abuse it. So, so as I as I developed the ideas around the film, I thought, we well, why don't we just present soil for what it is? And and one of the soil scientists that I, Kate Scow, who's at UC Davis, who's wonderful. When I was meeting with her before we started shooting, she said, you know, I mean, she's really done a lot of amazing agricultural research. I mean, she's one of the top agricultural researchers in the country. And she said to me, she said, I don't even think of soil as an agricultural medium, you know, and I thought about that. And I, because she just sees it as an entity and what, you know, what's happening in it and what microorganisms are affecting other microorganisms and how do things move through it and the ages. Are. So the idea of just taking soil and kind of blowing people's minds about what a film on soil would be like so they don't go, oh God, it's going to be another film about agriculture, you know, I've been there, done that, you know, so you just kind of blow their minds so they go, oh gee, you know, I actually don't know anything about this, I've taken for granted. As a filmmaker, that was a lot more dramatic choice to just present it, you know, which why we have glaciers, we've got volcano, we've got, because it is fascinating. And I think for me, I, I like science 
You know, there's a bit of an anti-science bias in, especially in like popular films now. You know, like, oh, don't, don't get too sciencey. People don't like science, but actually, people people love to know how things work. And I think one of the ways out of our our you know environmental problems now is is to try to help people reconnect with nature and have them become fascinated with nature and to really see it and and feel a connection and in order to do that you have to understand it and so bringing these to my mind interesting facts you know like there are billions of microorganisms and most of them we haven't even identified and you know using science and using technology in terms of you know um, you know electron microscopes or satellites you know all these things that we use as filmmakers too to see to see things in a, in a, in a different way you know I think that's valuable and it helps people become interested in the topic and 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 see it as, as more intriguing than they would have thought and so then when they go out in the world and they're you know taking a walk and they're looking at some you know whatever road cut or looking at a hill and they think god yeah there's just wow look at that there's so much going on over there wow i never look at all those different kinds of things and so to my mind that was a lot more interesting as a filmmaker to pull people in and get them connected it's very easy to fall into cynicism these days, you know. If this film can be an antidote to cynicism and an antidote to um, feeling um, paralyzed by all these problems that we have, so you just think, well, it's really simple, you know, I, I, I plant a garden and it grows and it's, it's a miracle and, you know, we're all here and sharing this space. So if I can help people not only intellectually but sort of emotionally, um, feel um, more like Earth is worth uh, saving, you know? It's worth kind of fighting for by uh, letting it be what it is. Then, then that, that to me, is, uh, is, that's a good result.